The great masters, all the way from Shakyamuni Buddha to the Six Ornaments and two Supreme Ones, uh, they've truly discovered the core, the very essence of wisdom and passed on that wisdom generations to generations until today. So we should practice in such a way, we should learn in such a way, uh, especially now we've already attained this this wonderful medicine that is meaningful to this life and to many lifetimes to come, we should first attain it ourselves, obtain it ourselves, and then share it to the ascension beings. Just like medicine, let it be Tibetan medicine, Chinese traditional medicine, Western medicine, or medicines from India, Africa, as long as it provides a cure, then it is necessary. Same as vexation, the same as affliction. Uh, if uh, sentient beings have already po are already poisoned by uh, the po uh, the afflictions of uh, uh, desire, ignorance, and uh, anger or aggression, in that way they really need such kind of medicine so that they can be happy. If you, over here he talks about, if you familiarize yourself with that I'm not happy, I'm suffering a lot, let you be with wealth or not, everything in your in the manifestation in front of you would become the cause of suffering. Many people would think that uh, poor people uh, are not happy because they don't have money. Um, if they have money, then they will be happy. However, I've met many people who are really rich. They're probably one of the most rich ones in a city, in a region, or uh, in uh, a large area or so, but their, their mind is not happy. And some people would search or pursue uh, social status. Once you have a social status of a supervisor, you want to uh, you want to become a, a bigger. Uh, you want to obtain bigger power. You want to become a mayor. You want to become. Uh, the uh, premier or so. So by actually getting in touch with all this group of people, you will notice that in fact status doesn't really bring them happiness either. Similarly, uh, relationship and so on, all of those things doesn't really bring you genuine happiness. So if you do not learn how to manage or how to tame your own mind, uh, you won't be genuinely happy at all, and uh, if you familiarize yourself with suffering, then suffering could get stronger. So, well, uh, that is not to say that the external phenomena doesn't bring any happiness at all, but it's very minimal. It, it is a very small factor because, for example, if you like hot pot and you probably have hot pot right now and it's really lovely, it's wonderful, it feels so pleasant, but is this pleasure going to be everlasting? No, that can't be because if you eat hot pot every single day for three meals a day, you probably don't want it at all ever again. So. The external uh, phenomena, the happiness comes from external phenomena, is very limited. But if you can be happy uh, from your inner mind and heart, then it surpasses all the external happiness. Um, in fact, all of these teachings are quite precious, but if you don't practice or don't really um, have genuine insights, uh, of it, then simply reading this text or a book is not really meaningful at all. For example, lots of great books such as Treasury of Dharma Dhatu and Flights of the Garuda, um, as well as this textbook, if nobody gives you the teaching, you won't be able to understand its genuine meanings. So you really, really have to listen to the teaching. The the book itself, the content, the content itself, do have some uh, transmission, but you really need people who truly understand its meanings and have such insights to give you this teaching that is really important. Um, 
Some people would like to read the tantric teachings that's、uh, kept in secrets, but even if you read that, even if you read the most pithy instruction, you probably won't understand. But once you study it,、uh, listen to the teaching, listen to the pithy instruction, then you'll be able to understand that how the book is quite amazing. So for all of the Uh, practitioner sitting here, please do not let your mind wander right now while you're wearing a mask and sitting there, without truly、uh, emerge with its meaning. And you will only receive oral transmission. There's no true、um, function that it will bring to you. It doesn't really bring you、uh, the actual、uh, benefit in such a way. Next one, it talks about if we do not realize that it depends on the way in which mind develops its uh, uh, habit, and instead we put blame on external objects and、uh, situations alone. So some people don't understand that part that、um, it actually is the mind、uh, that brings happiness or suffering. So the flames of suffering, negative karma, aggression, and so on, will spread like wildfire without end. This is called all appearances are arising as enemies.、Um, the majority of people in this world they don't really understand that happiness or suffering completely relies on your own mind. They keep on thinking that everything is related to the external conditions. Sometimes we read the news, and we can see that there are quarrels between states and many different unnecessary things. We can see through this kind of quarrels and conflicts that most people feel that they are not happy because of、uh, certain external conditions or phenomena. Some people would think that they're not happy because they don't have good relationship, because they feel that、um, there are enemies,、uh, they have some foes,、uh, creating obstacles because they don't have money, they don't have house, because、um, the society is unfair, because there is not enough opportunities for them.、Um, but they don't really understand that, in fact, the. Unhappiness is brought by themselves, by their own mind. That is the sole reason. If you only blame on the external things, such as so and so is not nice to me,、uh, I don't have enough merit, I don't have enough opportunities. Why is it that other people could earn lots of money, but I can't? Uh, there are so many people nowadays. They have so much、um, unsatisfying.、Um, they have so so much so many sad unsatisfying、um, blames towards everything else, to the society, to their supervisor, to their teachers and doctors. But nowadays, in fact. At the end, in fact, the fire of、um, uh, the wildfire of negative karma would burn themselves first. This teaching is so very precious. I think each word should worth ten thousand U.S. dollars. Uh, what does that mean? That all appearance,、uh, all the、um, appearances arising at en as enemies, because people would complain about everything that happens outside is something that's external. However, they don't know that everything is caught. The suffering is caused by their own mind,、uh, by blaming and uh, uh, so on. The wildfire of suffering will consume them first. People with money or wealth, if you look at 
uh, people from across the globe. However nicely they can talk, however nicely they can cover up their uh, unhappiness. In fact, because of the unhappiness within, his language or action is always in conflict, and that is the reflection of their own mind. And because of that, the wildfire of suffering and negative karma is currently burning the whole world. Including why are happy not why are people not happy in families? Why are people complaining about others? It is really because people had already turned all appearances arising as enemies uh, or perceived them as all enemies. This is quite famous in Tibetan, this sentence particular, because it explains that if your mind is not well, then whomsoever you see, you uh, get in contact with here, and um, and even if they're your family and friends, you would feel that those people are going to harm you. So people with a mind like such would feel that everyone's an enemy, everyone is trying to hurt you, even if they are your closest friend, they must have agendas, you might think. Other than human beings, it could be yaks, goats, dogs, all of those animals could become enemies as well. And in terms of sound, the teachings from others, the sound of uh, sparrow, sounds of book, uh, of uh, cuckoo birds, sound of um, uh, the uh, a bird from Tibet. How do I? How does my imitation sound? Is it good? I used to be very good at imitating that bird. Anyhow, that particular bird sounded really nice. But without good practice, if you can't tame your mind, you would probably hate that bird and feel that that noise or that sound is really annoying. Whatever sound we hear, it could be sutras chanted by great masters. If you don't have a tamed mind, you would feel, you would think such kind of chanting is very annoying. Similarly, the the same principle applies to your nose, your body, your consciousness, um, whatever smell, whatever fragrance could bring you unhappiness, whatever things you touch could bring you unhappiness. If you're not in a good mood, you would think that everything outside is being annoying. And that is all appearances arising as enemies.